What should you do one week before the Iron Man? <laughs> Next week, me and my wife Joanna are taking part in Ironman Wales. Notice, I'm not saying we are racing, we are taking part because we are definitely not there to compete. We just want to have a good time and finish in a good condition. <laughs> if you can finish Ironman in good condition. So I thought I'm gonna record this video for anyone who is in my shoes, who is racing next week. And it might be your first Ironman and it might be your fifth Ironman, doesn't really matter. Those are the things I, I think you should do before the Ironman. I'm gonna give you three tips you should do before the Ironman and one thing you should definitely not to do. I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. You should definitely rest. Well, we went for a run, but this is a very short one and we just want to test our legs. It's not gonna be more than 5k today. But generally speaking, you should be in the resting mode. You should feel like going out and doing something. This approach is called tapering. And the idea of the taper is that you decrease the volume of, the tr of your training in last two, three weeks before the main event. You're trying to cut around 25% of the volume. So let's say if four weeks before the Ironman you train around 10 hours, in the third week you should train seven, then you should train four, and the last week you shouldn't do more than two. Saying that, it's again, it depends how much volume you do. Uh, we tend to do very little volume, so our taper is very, very small, and we don't do more than hour and a half, maybe. So today is Sunday, and we went for a run, we might go for a swim on, tu on Tuesday and maybe for a cycle on Wednesday and that's it. I'm not gonna touch any exercise until Sunday, until when the race starts. Um, obviously, I'm gonna do some maintain work, like a, a little bit of flow, a little bit of movement, uh, like a joint mobility and a little bit of stretching, but nothing which challenges my cardio system. That's the first thing. The second thing, you should eat well. This is the time to really focus on nutrition. Isn't it, Joanna? Yes. What should you eat? Lots of nourishing food with vitamins and minerals, natural products, lots of veggies, proteins, of course. Yeah, that's, that's what you need. So, as Joanna said, try to eat good food. You should always be trying to eat good food, but this is the best time to push it even more. Stay away from cookies, stay away from very caloric cakes and other things. You don't need it. You really, your body needs a vegetables, your body needs proteins, and then your body needs vitamins. Also, super important, stay hydrated, meaning drink water. The, just simple water is the best. You might get some electrolytes, but to be honest, water, maybe with the pinch of salt, is all you need. The thing you shouldn't do, definitely, is to try to test yourself. You shouldn't go and sign up for like half Ironman or something just before your big event. There is no time for it. It's better to be well rested and better to be unprepared than overprepared, overtired. I learned a hard lesson a couple of years ago and I will never do this again. It's horrible. Just remember, we are not professionals. We do this for fun and we're racing for the sake of racing, sake of finishing. I don't care really about the time. I just want to be able to finish under 16 hours, isn't it? This is cut off. This is not 17. So if you are racing for a time, if you want to get your best time ever, or 10 hours or eight hours, whatever, get to Kona, we are not the best people to observe. Right, anyway, so this is it. 
our tips to what to do and what not to do before the Ironman. I hope it was helpful. I hope this will bring some value to, to you and to your racing. If you got any questions, as always, please ask me. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It's really, really helped me. Anyway, if you are in the ways, give me a high five when you see me on the course. Take care. How should I do it? How should I do it? Oh. Nie, ona chce się tak 